the Akosombo Dam is a hydroelectric dam on the Volta River in the eastern part of Ghana. The dam is significant for providing electricity for Ghana and neighboring countries such as Togo and Benin. Ghana has in 2023 experienced heavy rainfall causing an increased volume of water in the Akosombo Dam. To protect the dam from possible overtopping and future damage, the Volta River Authority, VRA, embarked on a dam spillage exercise which led to flooding in low-lying areas along its course. Several communities, including Mefe, Bato, Dadome, Adidome, Ada, and others have been immensely impacted by the Volta River overflowing its banks. A tragic incident has not only left over 26,000 individuals homeless, but also caused damage to possessions, livelihood, and critical infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, and schools. Responding to the humanitarian crisis in these affected areas, Global Volunteers Corps, GVC, a non-governmental organization committed to empowering individuals and communities through volunteerism and active citizenship, visited some impacted communities and provided essentials such as food, sachet and bottled water, sanitary pads, and toiletries. Through further interrogations with the flood victims, the GVC team realized the victims were at health risk and the need for a medical service. As volunteers and active citizens, Global Volunteers Corps, dedicated to identifying problems and providing solutions, therefore embarked on a medical outreach in the North Town District. This initiative purposed to offer medical solutions to protect flood victims, improve safety, and restore trust. With medicines, medical equipment, a team of volunteers and medical practitioners, including nurses, doctors, and physician assistants, journey to save lives. Arriving in Bato on Sunday, 19th October 2023, the GVC team met with a member of parliament of North Town, Honorable Samuel Okujetu Ablakwa, who counted it all joy to have GVC on board to assist in their time of need. The MP highlighted the devastating impact of the flood and the need for support. The GVC team collaborated with the Health Directorate to identify seven communities as target groups for the medical outreach we span one week. Medical activities commenced on Monday, 20th October 2023 at Dedukope, one of the affected communities. The immense support from the health directorate and other volunteer nurses and doctors in the community contributed to the effective and efficient provision of health services. Community leaders, youths and community members also played vital roles in making the exercise productive. There were introductions, exchange of pleasantries, and announcements indicating the mission in the community. This was followed by the registration of community members, including the aged, adults, youths, and infants, and then thorough health assessments comprising basic checkups, blood pressure checks, blood sugar checks, and screenings for common illnesses. One-on-one -on -one medical consultations were carried out by our astute healthcare professionals to address specific health concerns and provide personalized medical advice. Community members were also provided with essential medications and prescriptions on a case-by-case -case basis. Many life-threatening illnesses were diagnosed, including hypertension, urinary tract infection, bilharzia, diabetes, pneumonia, and skin diseases, among others.
The visit continued on subsequent days to other communities, namely the Gome, Manguti Gagome, and communities across the river, specifically Dadome and Adidopo. The team were relentless and determined to save lives. Although terrified by crossing the Volta Lake, they overcame fear and boarded canoes to communities across the river to bring hope to the hopeless. Yes, that sense of fulfillment of duty and the joy of doing good for others brought smiles to their faces and that of the community members, including children. However, understanding and addressing the needs of individuals who lack the means to meet their basic needs, such as shelter, food, clothing, and medical care is a persistent condition for most communities in Ghana. As such, a one-week medical outreach is an insufficient antidote. To overcome the standstill, there is the need to do more. If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain Is a place for people like you if you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way There's a place for people like you Place for people like